All right, guys, welcome to, I believe it's video number 22, but I'm not sure. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about interpolation using expressions or values inside strings. What the heck am I talking about? Let me go ahead and just jump right into an example. Say we have a variable called a and we set it equal to something easy like four. Now we have another bar. Did I say variable. I just call them variables from now on. Now we have another variable called b, and we set this equal to 6. So a equals 4, b equals 6. Pretty cool. So now what our boss does is he comes in and he's like, hey, Bucky, what I want you to do is I want you to output on the screen 4 times 6 equals 24. So we said, okay, no problem. We know this Ruby stuff. We're pretty good at it. What I'm going to do is just put a times b equals a times b. It's just going to go ahead and run that expression and then it's going to print out 4 times 6 equals 24. Let me go ahead and hit enter and oh crap. It says a times b equals a times b. That's not what I wanted at all. What I wanted is the actual answer. 8 or excuse me 4 times 6 equals 24. So now we're scratching our head saying, how the heck are we supposed to do that? Do I have to write it on a whole bunch of different lines and maybe make a whole bunch of different variables? That's going to be a pain in the butt. Well, there's an easy way that we can do this, and it's called interpolation. Interpolation is pretty much using expressions and values inside of a string. So now let's go ahead and rewrite our string. Instead of let me go ahead and add some space. Instead of just writing a times b equals a times b, that won't work because we'd end up with this. We need to interpolate these. Now, whenever you do that, remember this. Use the number sign, which is the sign above the three on your keyboard, and the curly braces. Now, in between the curly braces, you write either a variable or an expression. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and write a. Now, instead of just printing out a, what it's going to do is it's going to look what's in between these curly braces and it's going to get the value of it. Whatever the value is, that's what it's going to print out on the screen, just not the letter. So pretty much it's going to print out the number 4 right here because that's the value of A. Now I'm just going to go ahead and hit times, pound sign, B. Now of course this is going to go ahead and print out 6 and set it equal to, and check this out, those are just simple variables, easy enough to understand, but this may not be so easy to understand. A times B. So again, whenever you run this, let me go ahead and just show you guys what happens real quick. It says 4 times 6 equals 24. So that's what we wanted, not A times B equals A times B. So again, like I said, whenever we use interp interpolation, whatever's in between the curly braces, such as A times B, Ruby's going to figure out the value of those first before printing those to the screen. And basically, that's what we're seeing right here. So instead of just printing out A times B, it's going to say, okay, let me interpolate this. Let me figure out the value of A times B, which is 24. And of course, that's what you want me to print out on the screen, 24. And this also works with string variables too. So say we had a person and it's a string variable like Bucky Roberts. So now what we want to do is print out something on the screen like, I love Bucky Roberts. So we go ahead and write puts, I love, and I know you can just type Bucky Roberts right here, but if we go ahead and type something like this, I love person, it would go ahead and print out I love person on the screen. But we want to say I love in the person variable, which is Bucky Roberts. So in order to do that, go ahead and delete your person variable and we want to interpolate person so uh, I keep I keep calling this a dollar sign it's a pound sign sorry if I call it dollar sign sometimes and anyways we want to interpolate person so now what it's going to do is it's going to figure out the value of person which is Bucky Roberts it's going to plug it into the string so it's now it's pretty much going to print out I love Bucky Roberts so check it out I love Bucky Roberts I really do guys I really love him he's a good guy so now that is pretty much interpolation pretty much using either variables such as a or expressions such as a times b or strings so there you go there you have it thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to add me on Google Plus and if you have any questions not only about this video but any other video go ahead on my forum tnbforum.com and uh, you can ask me there 
I'll answer it for you. If not, a bunch of people are willing to help. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later.